It's Money Monday. We're continuing our discussion about credit cards. Jade Beckman, the Vice President of Consumer Lending at Mountain America Credit Union, is here to discuss credit card basics and the importance of using them responsibly so they work for you and help make your financial life easier. Thanks right. so much for joining us. Thanks, Lori. We all have credit cards. We all have many of them, or at right. least I'm speaking for most of us out there. What are some things to consider? Well, let's just kind of set the stage a little bit. You're right. We do have a lot of credit cards. The average household who has credit card debt averages about $15,000 in credit card balances right now. So if you kind of consider that the average household income in Utah is about $58,000 a year, you kind of look at that, that's roughly a quarter of your annual income on average that's dedicated to credit card debt. Not so to it's, mention the, the um, interest rate that you're paying for abs it. Absolutely, that's right. So that's why you know it's so important to develop good financial habits. You know, and the first thing is the, the easiest said and the hardest done, but that's to control your spending. I like to say just think before you swipe on that credit card. You know, is this a need or is this a want? There's nothing wrong with putting a want on your credit card. The problem is, is can I afford it? Can I afford to pay that back right away? Because if I can't, then what I'm doing is, number one, I'm committing my future income towards that purchase. And you mentioned, uh, Lori, interest. I could end up paying for that, uh, you know, maybe many times over. So I hope I still like it in five years from now when I'm still paying for it. That's a, that's a good way of thinking about it. Right. Okay, so you've got to have discipline. What else right. do you need? Well, I think use some of the tools that are available. Make technology your friend. Um, just about every credit card company, credit card issuer will have email alerts or text alerts or some sort of online uh, type of availability. So Mountain America, for example, you can set up alerts every time you, a credit card transaction goes through that you get an alert. So that's a great fraud protection tool. Absolutely. But also kind of helps you keep on top of your spending. But get things like uh, alerts when your payment date is approaching. So that doesn't become a surprise that, oh no, my payment was due yesterday and I've, and I've already missed it. And there goes a $35. Right. $35 <laughs> and not to mention that a lot of times we talk to interest rates, right, that interest rate could really jump up. Right. Right. then also so um, take advantage of those alerts and consider using auto pay so then you don't have to worry about it you set it up that payments gonna be made and I don't have to worry about it again. I, I would think that auto pay is probably used by people who use their credit cards successfully what are some other things that people do that are good credit card habits well I, I think being careful with the number of cards that you have also is an, another but thing everywhere I go they offer discounts All if right. I open a credit just take, card just take the card Lori right <laughs> I think having too many cards it's easy to lose track mm -hmm. you know it's better to have maybe you know two or three cards a card that I'm putting my normal spending that I'm probably going to get rewarded for a low interest rate card and then something in case of emergency you know something unexpected comes up or there's a problem with one of my other cards and it doesn't go through I have a I have a backup to use okay so if you have like 10 or 15 it's probably not a good idea uh, that's a little more than two or three I guess all right Just all right <laughs> Jay, thanks so much for being here we appreciate Thank it you, Lori. Andrew yes 10 or 15 Just